I invite you to relax and get comfortable. Join me in this discussion of Just Another Theory. Thank you for joining me on Just Another Theory podcast where you can relax and we talk about true crime. It's good to be back and at the perfect time. A lot of movement in the Stephen Avery case. If you're not familiar with me, if you're new, I'm known as R.D. or Mama D., also known as Danny. And I'm reading The Wrap, and it's all about making a murderer. Attorney Kathleen Zellner shares new info you didn't see in the show. Kathleen Zellner, the attorney for making a murderer, subject Stephen Avery, took to Twitter to reveal new information about Teresa Hobbock's murder that, according to her, fans didn't see in the second season of the Netflix show. Zellner pointed fingers at Brendan Dassey's brother, Bobby. Making a murderer, watchers. Listen up, she tweeted on Thursday morning. I'm going to walk you through what I've learned through my investigation that you didn't see in the show. Zellner then started a 20-tweet thread in which she consistently mentions our suspect while laying out a timeline of what transpired in 2005. She said Halbach was followed while Avery was in his trailer after she left the Avery Salvage Yard on October 31st, 2005, and that he got Halbach to pull over. She opens the car rear cargo door to retrieve her camera, was knocked to the ground, and struck with an object. TH was put in the rear cargo area of the RAV4 and driven back to the ASY. Zellner's timeline contradicts what prosecutors presented at trial. The prosecution said Avery and Brendan Dassey raped and killed Hobbock and burned remains. Zellner also said the suspect had access to Stephen's trailer to remove blood from the sink. After the suspect knew Stephen's finger had, quote, re-bled on 11.305 because he observed it. Avery's cut on his finger was a big part of the prosecution's arguments during trial. Only our suspect knew the blood in the sink was Stevens and not THS. This rules out the police. She wrote, Suspect planted blood in Rap 4, bones in Stevens' burn pit, and THS electronics in Stevens' burn barrel. In conclusion, the killer is a person who had access and opportunity to plant Stephen Avery's fresh blood in Teresa Hobbock's car. Do you think it was Bobby Dassey, one fan asked? We can't rule him out. Zellner responded, adding that Bobby's garage is being searched for DNA and blood. In the second season of Making a Murderer, there was no clear suspect mentioned, but Zellner does question Scott Tadich, Brendan's stepfather, and Bobby Dassey, and that the latter may not have told the truth during trial. At one point in the series, Tadich loses his temper. One user asks, I fully believe Bobby killed Teresa and, for whatever reason, Scott was involved in cover-up. However, is it really believable that either would realistically remember Essay's finger bleeding and to think to take Essay's blood from the sink? Zellner responded, Of course, the police had just been on the property, and he would have been panicked to divert attention from himself. Selner also named a motive for the suspect. It was a rage killing motivated by rejection. Do we know if Bobby or ST ever interacted with TH prior to 1031? Meaning, is it possible that Bobby had his eye on her for a while before she was killed? Asked one user, to which Zellner responded, yes. Making a Murderer Part 2 premiered on Netflix on October 19th. Making a Murderer premiered in 2015 and quickly became a worldwide phenomenon, which chronicled the 2005 murder of Hawbach and the conviction of Avery and his nephew, Brendan Dassey. Avery was sentenced to life in prison, and a federal appeals court upheld a ruling that Dassey's confession was involuntary and the investigators violated Dassey's rights. However, in June, the Supreme Court declined to hear his case. Selner is currently appealing Avery's conviction, although a circuit court judge denied him a new trial. Her brief to the appeals court is due by December 20th. 
Kathleen Selner, Selner at Law. Number 1. On October 31, 2005, Scott Tadich visited Bobby at Avery Salvage Yard, ASY, around noon. Number 2. After Teresa T.H. called the Dassey landline for directions, our suspect contacted her back with Dassey's address. Number 3. Teresa arrived at the ASY around 2.30 to 2.31 p.m. on 10.31.05. Only Bobby and Stephen saw her. After completing her photo assignment, she left and turned west on Highway 147 around 2.38 p.m. Our suspect followed her. Stephen was in his trailer. Number 4. Our suspect gets T.H. to pull over. She opens her car's rear cargo door to retrieve her camera, was knocked to the ground, and struck with an object. Number 5. Teach was put in the rear cargo area of the RAV4 and driven back to ASY. Number 6. TH's RAV4 was spotted leaving the ASY with an unknown driver at 3.45 p.m. Number 7. RAV4 was left by the old dam west of Mishkot on 10.31.05. Number 8. Three witnesses saw RAV4 up to 11.405, then it was gone. Number 9. Recent investigation shows the RAV4 battery died, so it was replaced in order to move the RAV4 to the ASY. Number 10. Teach's body was burned in a burn barrel. Dassey's burn barrel had human bones. Number 11. 60% of bones and 31 teeth missing. Number 12. A witness smelled horrible odor of something burning in Manitowoc County gravel pit the evening of 10 31.05. Number 13. The Dassey garage was never luminoled or DNA tested. Bobby hung a deer in the Dassey garage on 11.4.05. Number 14. Sikiki note. Body burned at smelter 11.4.05, 3 a.m. Tadich work the night shift at a smelter facility. His nickname, Skinny. Number 15. TH's electronics were not burned in Stephen's burn barrel. They were burned in Dassey's burn barrel. Number 16. Suspect knew Stephen's finger rebled on 11.305 because he observed it. Number 17. Suspect had access to Stephen's trailer to remove blood from the sink. Number 18. Only our suspect knew the blood in the sink was Stevens and not TH's. This rules out the police. Number 19. Suspect planted blood in RAP4, bones in Stevens' burn pit, and TH's electronics in Stevens' burn barrel. And she ended it with, in conclusion, the killer is the person who had the access and opportunity to plant Stephen Avery's fresh blood in Teresa Hobbock's car. Use hashtag AskSellner for questions. It's good to be back with everybody and great to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. I will talk to you again soon. Love ya. To the moon and back. <laughs>